and carrot, broccoli and coconut, peaches, apples, apricot, red fruit, jack fruit, sour sap, pistachios, the shoes and almonds, walnut, peanut, also pecan, sesame seeds, sunflower, lemon, orange, pineapple and melon. Kyoto at the moment, uh, trying to meet someone who actually helped us a little when we were going to Israel uh, for, uh, I don't remember how many years ago. Uh, anyways, uh, we have this mutual friend that is always like so eager for us to meet and um, I can show him around in uh, Kyoto apparently, so we'll do that. Yeah, I uh, just found this uh, Israeli on the street, it was not now. <laughs> okay. Yeah, who, who are you? Hi, I'm Shaked. Um, I am an Israeli. I've been vegan for 14 years. What else should I say? Um, what is your favorite color? My favorite color is green. See, I'm wearing, ah, I'm wearing nice, a nice. green shirt. Yeah, vegan, right, yeah. 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 Oh, my name means almond in Hebrew. It's, oh. a, very, it's a very vegan name. But oh. my parents gave it to me. I didn't, I didn't choose it for myself. Yeah, but if I did choose a name for myself, it would be a very good one. Yeah, definitely. So, uh, what brought you to Japan? Um, I actually came for a conference oh. and um, and I decided to I came for a conference in Tokyo and I decided to stay so now we're in Kyoto um, yeah. I climbed Mount Fuji because I, oh. I I really love mountains everywhere I go I have to I have to be on the mountains so. you, you got to the top yeah ah uh, we didn't we didn't make it uh, the, the night came biting us so Shaked, what do you think of the the, the ticket? Uh, it's very interesting. I have no idea what it says. No, but like the size of it. The size? This, yeah, it does seem like a very big ticket. <laughs> yeah, that's like a very big ticket. <laughs> it's, it's bigger than the, than the guide, than the pamphlet. Definitely, it hasn't been polished since last I was here. Uh, you don't get to see uh, the statue in full silver, but uh, it's silver. So yeah, uh, can you imagine that this was the main place uh, that she wanted to, to send you? Yes, I can imagine it. It's yeah. very nice. Um, it's, it's the nicest temple that I've been to in Japan. Uh, it is or, or maybe period. I, I don't think yeah. I've been to a nicer temple outside I, of Japan. I want to show you a more amazing shrine later, but uh, this is definitely top 10. Yeah, this is Cafe Ren. Have you been to this one before? I have not. Good I'm luck. To try it out. Went for this bowl. I think that's really, really good looking. And also a cocoa. Uh, well, the other went for a cocoa too. And the two here went fancy on the lunch plate. Does it look fine? Looks great. Great. I can't yeah. wait to eat it. <laughs> no, it, it actually really delicious. So, have you tried like shoji nirori before? Um, I think there was one other restaurant that I went to in Tokyo that yeah. was uh, shoji nirori. Yeah. No, it's it's actually really good. You remember this place? Yes. On the corner there, there was a police officer who sent you that way. Oh yeah. Yeah, no, he didn't send it to Nara, he just assumed we were going in. <laughs> yeah. That was weird and so confusing. Here was it where that infamous uh, police officer told us to go up there, uh, which uh, made absolutely no sense to us because we were going down to Uji, down there, and then to Nara. Could you believe such a rude police officer would, get, would just send us the wrong way? Just, just assumes because you're you're white, you have no idea where you're going. Yeah, I yeah, just assumes because I'm white that I'm going to the shrine and not um, not through to somewhere else. It does seem pretty racist. <laughs> now back to this place. This time we're actually going in. Where's that police officer? I really need to stick it to them, right? We went back down there and then explained it to the officer down there and his facial expression just said it all. Wait, so the, so the uh, wait, let me get into the shade. Yeah. Uh, so so the, uh, the officer down there told you to come up. Yeah. And then the officer up here told you to go down. Yeah, but into the uh, parking there. So we thought we had to go through here because there was a blocking there, but yeah. no, they just assumed that we were going to park here. Yeah, because they were actually building, like, fixing something in the road, so it was actually a small pit.
of these shrines is seen as each their like uh, spiritual portal. So basically by putting up so many of them, they're basically constantly going through dimensions. Interdimensional travel. <laughs> well, in some way you could actually say that, but uh, I think it's more... From this dimension to that dimension. Yeah, but I think it's like only within like spiritual realms. So you're basically just traveling through realms that you cannot see. Is that weird? It is kind of weird. This mountain and it just doesn't stop. These like Shinto shrines or Shinto gates depends on the framing or the wording. There's a lot of them all the way and uh, it would take some time to put them all up I guess. Beautiful and all but this is the first time I'd actually have like a um, um, not an invitation, but they tell us that we have to do the ritual. So this is only the use uh, for the use of washing hands and raising mouth as a part of the ritual to visit a shrine. You must, and is appropriate. Thank you for your understanding. That's the first time I ever gotten a command to do such. Yeah, you did a good job. He'll get to the top before me. <laughs> wow. This is the top. I think that this shrine is almost equal to the last one. Or like, yeah. I'm not going through those posts. Oh wow. But it's just so fun to me that I keep saying that the Japanese population is mostly atheist. Um, doesn't make any sense to me. What is uh, what is your experience, Shaked? Um, well, I don't I don't know that they necessarily believe in God, but there's certainly certainly a lot of religious places. But you, would you say they are atheist, or would you say that they believe in some kind of deity? Oh, they definitely believe in some kind of deities. Would they be atheist? No, <laughs> And after this, we all decided to go back to our hotel. Perula and I had yet to see our room since we had just delivered our luggage at their hotel earlier this day. Seemingly, I'm eco-friendly. <laughs> yeah, I like the wording. I'm eco-friendly, just so you know, I care. Look at this room. Yeah, this is the top. Uh, I'm sorry, all it's... the all the traditional hotels, but this is big. This actually beats. This has size. It even beats the room at Ichu, and that says a lot. We did the one in Ichu. Wow. Yes. The bathtub is really big as well. Interior, but look at the beds, and we got a sofa, and a table, and we got like a desk with a stool. And a stool, yeah. A, so big, <laughs> it's so big. Yeah, it's so big. Yeah, and look, we got multiple hangers because we got hangers here, and we got hangers here. A balcony. A wow, balcony. that's Dang. nice. That's. Is this too good? We're only going to stay here the, for two nights. No, where we, why didn't we stay here for like ten days? Because it costs like twice the amount. Like Mrs. Kyoto, as I pronounce it, it it wasn't a bad hotel. I, I really like that as well. But this is just so fancy. And then it was time for dinner. So the uh, the queue exists, but uh, it's behind us almost. Uh, figuring out there were like six people, and there were like eight people going in. 
we were only three people and where, where, where's the queue? Hmm, it's the tourist season is over, I guess. Oh yeah, okay, makes sense. It's gonna go way faster. Like, you, you won't believe how many people were here last time. Yeah, the queue started for you. I'm glad. Where I, you're I, I hate now. queues. I hate queues. That uh, yeah. that makes me Israeli, not American. American loves queues. Love, love oh, yeah, queues. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. There's there's this place in Palo Alto that has uh, ramen, and it's it's like almost a badge of honor how yeah. long you've waited for this ramen. It doesn't yeah. even have vegan. Their their vegetarian thing isn't even vegan. Okay. Which is very very weird for Palo Alto to, to okay. not to not have even one so this is Palo Alto is the town by Stanford University yeah and um, and it's Stanford is technically its own municipality but it's basically yeah. a university town yeah and so it's very weird for it to, to not have that yeah. uh, any options but it doesn't yeah um, people still wait and this is uncommon like you you just go across the street anywhere else yeah and uh, you just get in immediately yeah <laughs> where they got the name for the restaurant <laughs> yeah I uh, I did not want to tell you I, I wanted you to see it for yourself you should have filmed my reaction that's what you should have done yeah I didn't have time I thought my allergy would go bad with this but it doesn't your allergy to apples no uh, smoke oh I see yeah and then it's like uh, the room is smoky but I don't struggle yeah are you excited for this I am very excited. Yeah. I, uh, I just saw things. Uh, did, did you film the, the plane? Uh, yeah. Okay, great. So I'm not spoiling anything. No, no, no. Uh, that, I've filmed it before as well. We've been here before in this video production. We didn't get it on camera this time, but yes, they do have the instructions in Hebrew as well. <laughs> <laughs> it's so delicious, you, you ate it all already. Yeah, I really like it. <laughs> and we, we're really taking your time, you're like, mmm, this is so good. <laughs> but I haven't started on any of the sides yet. Um. What's your experience with this? It's very hot. Yeah. It's all it's hot all the way over here. <laughs> so what do you think? I thought the place was really good and I like the I like the fire gimmick. Yeah. And I like the badge. This is, this is my new badge. Yeah. No ramen, no rife. No ramen, no rife. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I like the I like the fried uh, the, the fried uh, textured vegetable protein or whatever that was the uh, uh, the, the soy meat the, the fried soy meat thing. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, it was good. Yeah, that's a really good one. What do you think of my um, my uh, huge mug? <laughs> this is the biggest mug that I've ever seen. <laughs> it's, it's like it's like a liter and a half or something, right? It felt yeah. like, it felt like more than a liter. Something like that. Uh, one thing I wanted to add about the ramen place is that I would like to see them add stuff instead of the of the things that they're removing removing for the vegans like have fried tofu instead of fried egg or have uh, soy meat in the ramen instead of pork uh, that's just one one room uh, one place for improvement that I would tell the the fire ramen people morning okay uh, I bought the last three salted onigiri at 7-eleven like this is like the only vegan onigiri they have. Uh, we're going to, going to have those two breads as well with some peanut butter. And there, there are three bananas. Yeah, that will be breakfast because we're going dead early. We bought a bunch of uh, these as well. That will mostly use on the way up uh, the mountain. It's going to be really interesting. All the usual three brands of energy bars where we get um, a lot of the convenience stores. Having enough time on hand is uh, a bit of a challenge when you only have three days to do them. We're now making a little stop in Arashiyama. I like this place. It has a lot to offer. Uh, but we are heading to a mountain. 
I don't really know what to expect other than walking for five hours. So um, I'm not impressed with uh, this bamboo forest, but uh, Shaked here wanted to see it and uh, it's a touristy thing. Yeah. This is like one of the most famous attractions in, in Kyoto, actually. Yeah, it is. But it, but like if, if you look around, it's and just bamboo. It's just well, I mean, it's beautiful and all. It's just it's nothing special about it. This is so common in Japan, and uh, you will find things that are way way more special. Uh, right now, I like it because there's hardly any tourists there. Not too common in Japan, but. These are fancy. They're so cute. <laughs> and they're in the middle of nowhere. I don't know what this is. That looks like lamppost or something. I'm not sure if that's where we're going up. Definitely not. We're going up the mountain. This so. is the shrine on the yeah, entrance. Oh, we are at the start of the train now. I don't know, but I want to go through. Okay, there's a path through the tunnel, but there's also a path above. I need to look to. Um, Look out for uh, black bears. Hey, Odehana, what's down there? Tunnel? Is Secret it? tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Through the... Oh, through Mountains. the map. Yeah. Secret, 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 secret tunnel. tunnel. The old path. It's narrow. This is the start of the path. Uh, have you noticed that in Japan, even like forest trails could be in asphalt? Yes, I have noticed that. Either asphalt, bulldoze, um, concrete. They'll also, they'll also have uh, vending machines. Yeah, <laughs> or like uh, I remember we were like walking up like a seventy degree up a mountain, and there was like a concrete path. Get through, and it says four point two kilometers. So this is an interesting path. Asphalt. Paved for <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Would it be all the way up, you think? Probably not. No. It seems too much to be all the way up. I mean... Is this a drainage or is it a path? This used to be a path, but it's really closed off. This is not closed off, however, but it's really steep. I don't know why, but I'm in really bad shape today. Yesterday I was in good shape, but today... It's really hard for some reason. Don't know why. But I keep walking up. Shaked and Oda Johanna is walking in front of me there. I uh, can't really see Oda Johanna there, but oh, there she is. I took a break. That was really needed, so we've continued quite far, but these shrines have seen better days. Well, these this tree as well. Yeah. It's doing an important job for the ants though. Yeah, it is. It is. Very important job for the ants. Going up the last 800 meters up, and we're out of water. Which isn't convenient, but there's supposed to be water stations a couple of places. Hopefully that's true though. A little store. It says Hotel Ruins. Makes sense. I feel it's uh, important to point out that Shaked and I, we were blasting each other all the time. Although it might look like in this video that I'm just bashing him all the time, but uh, nah, not really. Uh, he was just as well on the jokes as I was. It just happened to be that uh, more often than not, uh, my blasting came on camera while his did not. It has like turned into a plateau right here. Now you can see like how far up we've walked. Quite a distance. I don't know why we only brought a liter of water each for the honey and I. Uh, there's, I'm not sure if it's a part of a city or if it's a village. Can't tell, do you think this is a village or a part of the city? Uh, it looks to me like a city. And I haven't seen a single water station. If you passed it or not, I don't know. But it said there will be water on top. Can't read it. So it says welcome or congratulations, something like that. And 300 meters left. We made it to the top. But we're out of water. Let's see what we can do. And there's a Australia over there. Oh, look at that. Uh, yeah, I spotted a uh, random Jew in front of me. He's not in his right element. That's why he's using poles. Ain't that right? What? I saw, I saw, a, a, I saw a, a random Jew appear. And he's not in his right element and that's why he's using poles. Yes. 
<laughs> I write elements in the library. Yeah. Uh, you know, I shouldn't say this because white people might, might get offended on your behalf. <laughs> Ain't that right? Yes. This ugly woman is heading my direction. She's so offended right now. Yeah. She don't want to talk to me anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If I had 50 shekel, I could pay you that for giving me water. What I mean. <laughs> no, I'll like, give it to you for free. Now it's uh, there should be some water here somewhere. I just don't know where. Maybe you can download the water from Instagram or Twitter. Oh yeah, that's that's true. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's Otska. The U is silent. Um, you got power sweat. It's like, why don't I have like, oh yeah, yeah a crystal. Okay, they have water. Uh, okay, it's two hundred and fifty yen. Oh, we got. Uh, these two, I haven't tried this, I wonder what it tastes like. The entrance into like the... Uh, I don't know what you say because in English you call this called the everything shrine. I think I would just call this like Shinto church, something like that. But I don't know. Like they have the word priest in Shinto, so I don't know. Mm. It was also fun to meet this elderly guy that knew where everything was in Kyoto, so he just pointed out a few things for me. Uh, sadly, I only knew about 10% of what he was talking about. Uh, so we are uh, not on the top yet. Uh, it's a little bit of a climb up some ladders. Ladders. Stairs. Wow. <laughs> some choppers. Some, some choppers, yeah. Some, uh, yeah. Some blocks. <laughs> Some blockers. <laughs> Some blockers, yeah. Now, uh, that's um, not too far, I hope. It's uh, 900 some meters above sea level. So I uh, took the uh, Crocs off because he was like, I can't imagine you doing this with Crocs. And I was like, ha, let me just not wear Crocs then. <laughs> I just left it on the stairs. We have to go down, anyways. They're all atheists in Japan, really. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> right. I'm a single person who believes in religion. Yeah. <laughs> oh! Oh, you'd like this shrine. Oh? Yeah, look on the side. Oh, <laughs> yeah. It's a big old entrance to nothing. Let's look at this nothing. Nothing, and there is the thing. This is the area, I think we're there, no we're not there, we're, we're, we're right here, right? And that's where you are, and you are right there. Yeah. It would be really not nice of us to be right there. I think this is nice. It, it might have been a well at some point. We clogged it up anyways. Let's see. Where the, where the, where the, um... The the <laughs> this is a better road again. Uh, it's a slightly longer, yeah. okay. but <laughs> we'll experience more. It's the first time I see this insect. Oh, Jacquette, where, where do we go? I think it's to the right, but uh, I can also check. So we shouldn't go to, to go to the wrong. No, definitely not go to the wrong. Snake there. Uh, I can't see its head. I, I I caught the tail. Oh, it's going up. The... It's really good at hiding. It's really beautiful. It is. A nice little grove. <laughs> I like this grove. This bridge, it looks a little easier to walk. Uh, I don't know how it is to walk up, but uh, I think it would be easier to walk up than where we went. Ooh. I almost fell down, whoa! Although I have now made a discovery. The flora is changing vastly going down here. Now it looks like a jungle. I don't really know the definition of a jungle, but it looks like a jungle. 
so we're now at this cliff. It's really scary, but uh, we head on anyways. <laughs> so that is, uh, it just um, startled me a second because I, I didn't see the side and all of a sudden, wow. <laughs> and there is a bridge bridging across the creek. a little mountain here because we didn't want to go through the tunnel again uh, and we have some time on our hands to reach King Kakuji and maybe another place if you have the time <laughs> 